Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to today's video. So as you may have noticed, I did manage to save on my makeup from last week's video where I did it in alphabetical order. I'll leave a link to that somewhere, either in the i box thing up there or down below. But yeah, I did manage to save on my makeup so I am pre-filming this now because... I'm not going to be here when this is going up so I'm getting ahead of schedule so yeah there probably will be some holiday vlogs, vlog something along them lines because I do probably plan to do a weekly vlog more than multiple vlogs obviously I'm not going to have wi-fi and I don't want my whole break to be that but I also want someone to look back on so that is probably what I'm going to do but yeah anyway for today's video I have got the heaviest monthly haul ever so it's pretty much all Primark I've got an order from Boohoo and then two bits from New Look and that is literally it. I am not sure if this is going to be a try on haul just because it's so hot and I don't know if I can be bothered to get into it, like keep getting changed because it's already about 4,000 degrees and that is just going to make me so so hot. So yeah I'm sure you will know by the title of this video if it is or if it isn't but if you do enjoy watching it don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and that subscribe down below and that for do let's jump straight on into it. So first up I'm going to start off with the bits from Boohoo. Now I do still have like the tags but I've got rid of the order confirmation which had all the prices on so I'm not positive what they were. I'm pretty sure this first item was £11. So it's this black pair of shorts with the white stars on. They did have a pair which were just the shorts which were like £2 cheaper. I think these were about £11 but I did get like 30% student discount so they worked out a lot cheaper. Um, but these ones have the tie up belt which I just prefer because I know they're going to fit. So yeah, the belt is really really tangled. These do fit really really nicely. They're not too short or anything like that considering I am so small. The material is super super thin. It's kind of like the material you get on an umbrella. So I'm going to guess it's waterproof. It isn't like see through or anything like that. And yeah, I got these in a size 8, which is like my normal size, and they fit pretty perfectly. And then the waist is elasticated, so it can like stretch and fit. To your size or snap in your face if you want. So yeah, these were the first thing I got this month. So when I was doing this boohoo order, I spent like £50 in the intention that I would be sending the majority of it back. And I actually ended up sending nothing back whatsoever because I really loved everything so this next thing is a co-ord and I didn't realize this till I got it but it's actually out of the tall section which is obviously great because I'm five foot ten so that is so good especially with these shorts so the first thing are these blue like baby pastel blue shorts and then they've got the little frills at the end which is kind of like you know the bow sleeves it's like that but at the bottom um, so these are really really long on me, they're like the longest shorts I actually own because obviously they are tall. The material on them is really itchy though so I'm not sure how it's going to work with my skin but as in how it looks I do really like them. Even though they do look a bit like pyjama shorts on their own, when it goes with the top it does look super cute. So then this is the top, it kind of like ties around the front, I will show you. I did wear this like to try it on that is why it's all undone so it's like a little bralette kind of thing and then it ties in a bow at the front like that obviously that is a really crappy bow and you tie it to how it fits you it is super super see-through so you have got to be careful what you wear under this but again i just got this in a size 8 and it fits really nicely i do find with boohoo the things fit like quite true to size and i think this cord was about 16 pounds this next thing I got was reduced, I'm pretty sure it was about £9 or something like that. But basically, I have absolutely loved skirts for years because they're like, they look like a skirt but they've got shorts so you've not got to worry about wearing shorts underneath. And then I saw this one which was on sale in a lilac so it looks like a really like frilly mini skirt which I absolutely love the look of. But then obviously underneath it does have the shorts. So yeah, this is, I wore this the other day, it's literally the comfiest thing ever. Obviously it is quite thick because it has got two layers. This was like... As I say, I think it was about £8, something like that. I can't 100% remember. But yeah, I did wonder why it was so big on me. It was like kept falling down the other day and I was like, there's no way I need a 6 in that because it's a skirt and I just realised I actually added it in a size 10. So that is why it is so big. If I do do a try on clip, you'll probably see what I mean. But it's nothing that I can't like 
hitch up and it will stay up because it won't actually fall over my hips but yeah i absolutely love that and i kind of want it in other colors too and then this final thing i got from boohoo is to go under it was like a mesh see through festival kind of top i got from forever 21 on my birthday and i wanted like a black bralette to go underneath it so this is from the boohoo night range it says you can wear this on its own personally i really wouldn't do that so it's like a normal bralette at the front and it's one of them where you have to tie it yourself so it fits you and then you wrap these around your body and it goes round but it's more than a bralette as well because it's kind of quite got quite a bit of a back in it like so i think this was about eight pounds or something like that it is the softest silkiest material so it's really really comfy again i got this in a size eight but because obviously you're tying it up yourself you could kind of get this in any sort of a size and it would fit like you could probably get a 4 or 14 it wouldn't make that much difference because it's two size so now moving on to the two bits i got from new look these are both out of the kids range because i am 18 but i'm 14 in my head so what does it matter i always just prefer the kids clothes and the cheaper basically so the first thing is this little black t-shirt crop top obviously i won't wear in black at the moment because it is so ridiculously hot Hopefully by the time this goes up it is a bit cooler. So I think this was like six or seven pounds ninety nine. It just says New York in gold writing on nineteen ninety six and just thought this is like really easy to wear and this is the sort of stuff I absolutely love to wear. That is in a fourteen to fifteen by the way. And then the other thing I've got I've seen quite a few people wearing. So it is another skirt. It's this like um peachy pink kind of and then it's got the blue roses all over it. And obviously it's like the shorts underneath but it is super flowy and flouncy and i just love the way it sits for a 14 to 15 for someone who is five foot ten this fits incredibly well like it isn't short at all which is so good this is actually quite expensive for kids i think this was a 15 pounds but i mean it is very heavy and you can feel it's like of good quality i feel like if i got this in the adults range i probably would have paid maybe 20 25 pounds for it so i guess you get what you pay for so obviously as you are watching this i will be away so i picked up another swimming costume and um, this is on to the primark stuff now by the way so i have actually got the bikini in this like pattern but i absolutely loved it so much that i also decided to pick up the swimming costume version and i actually own a proper swimming costume so basically this is it it comes really really low cut at the front like it comes just above my belly button kind of it it's like really deep but it's very like secure and everything so it's absolutely fine to wear and then it's got all of these like strappy detailing at the back which makes it look really pretty and obviously it just goes into a normal swimming costume at the bottom i did get this in a size 8 which fits me fine but i would say kind of be careful with the sizing on it just because this cut at the front is so so deep um, and this was 10 pounds which for a swimming costume for Primark, I thought it was a little bit expensive, but it does have quite a bit of detail on it, so I can kind of understand where it's coming from. Next thing I got also for my holiday, and it is this pair of blush pink sliders. So yeah, these were £6. I did get them in a size 6, and I'm a 6.5, so my feet kind of just about getting them, but a 7 would literally fly down the road, so I did decide to go for the size 6. This is really annoying me. I always get that with off-shoulder tops, like I keep doing this every minute, hitching it down. But yeah, I love these because they were pink and fluffy. They look really comfy, and I feel like for the beach, pool, anything like that, these are going to be so, so nice. And obviously, for £6, even if they get wrecked after the week, I'm not really that bothered. But they have really, like, chunky, and I feel like they will last quite a long time. I'm not sure if the fluff will just shed off, though. Yeah, it's shedding off now. I also picked up this play suit, which is the same as the pink one, which I have, um... You might have seen it in my Norfolk holiday vlogs or probably my May haul. So yeah, I have it in pink and then this one is in black. I've looked forever to get it in a size 8 in the black, but they only have had like a 10 or bigger. So it's got like this frill detailing at the front and then I think these are called, is it cold shoulder? Where it's like, it's a strap on your shoulder, but then you have this frilly bit on your arm. I'm not 100% sure. And obviously it has like all the frills across it and then it just goes down into a normal place at the bottom. 
it's super stretchy so even though I'm tall it is so so comfortable to wear it's really thin which is obviously great in summer not great that it's black but it probably won't be sunny for that much longer um, and yeah this was only six pounds so I mean again can't go wrong this next thing I saw it and I was like you know what I'm gonna have to get it so it is this Love Island round beach towel which is 140 centimeters so yeah, I'm actually going to get it out of the packaging right now because I want to take it away and leave it in this packet. It's going to make that so much easier. So it's like a circle and then it's got flamingos and palm trees. It's just kind of a Love Island print. But the thing I love about it is it's got all these tassels coming off it the whole way around. And obviously to sit on on a beach, this is going to be so, so nice. People might be like, uh, why have you got a Love Island beach towel? But I mean, I like it. So that is all that matters. Um, so yeah, this was £12. I also packed up I also packed up, I also picked up another pack of the print lint rollers, that's quite a mouthful, you use bag a pound they're now £1.50, not very happy about that, basically it's lint rollers to get fluff off your clothes because we literally have so much stuff in this house, it is unreal, like whenever I wear leggings they're just white, literally. So yeah, I always seem to lose these lint rollers literally everywhere, so I'm always needing another one, or I'm going to use sellotape. So I've got this pack, and um, I've got ones with little llamas on. Are they camels? I'm not actually 100% sure, they look half like llamas, half like camels. So yeah, you get two in here, and they last months, I mean, if you don't lose them, obviously, so they are very decent. Next thing I saw, they only had ease of, and then I went to the back of the shelf and spotted a K, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to have to get it now. So it is this Mickey and Minnie bag, and then it's got a little pack with a K in it, obviously, K for Katie. Um, it's just one of Primark's like, standard tote bags. I'm not exactly going to be going out to Manchester doing my shopping in this, but I can like put stuff in it to go away, or just put bits away basically like storage so this was three pounds i remember when these bags literally were one pound fifty but it is disney so i guess that's why it might be a bit dearer it's just the standard like canvas material with a print on and then some pink strap and the two final bits i got are both unicorn themed so the first one is a new mirror so it's pink it's like my studio light is really reflecting off that it's got a little white unicorn on it <coughs> It says cute pie with some love hearts. It is K-pop. I don't know why it says K-pop on it, which means Korean pop. That really doesn't make sense. Do not understand that at all. But yeah, it is just basically a compact mirror. I always get mirrors from Primark because they're only like, well, this was £1.50. And they're normally like a pound. They last forever. Normally, I'm just going to check if this one does have like two mirrors. One that's magnified and one that's not. Is this a slidey one? Oh, what? Oh my god, this is tiny. But yeah, it's got like a normal side and then an enlarged side. Um, can't really see my face in that and that looks so stretched, it's weird. I think I prefer the old Primark mirrors. And the final thing I got is the Unicorn Makeup Brush Cleansing Pad. They had loads of these like brush cleansing pads and I picked up the Unicorn one. So it's got like little dots and then lines and then bigger lines. So obviously it's easy to clean your brushes. I normally use this one from Real Techniques, but as you can see, it is getting quite manky because I got that when I was in year 10, so I've just had it for about four years now. And so this is a unicorn one, it was only £1.50, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up while I'm here. So that is exactly what I did, and hopefully this will do the trick for cleaning my brushes because I'm all about something that makes my life easier. So that is everything I have to show you in this week's video, and that is it for this month's haul i literally can't believe i'm filming my july haul it's the last day of june at the moment but it's just crazy so yeah if you have liked watching it don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and we'll be back next friday at 4 30 with a brand new video although i might have a vlog going up before then or on then i'm not 100 percent sure bye